Hey guys, BNSF Rail fans here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to install a DCC decoder into an Athern Ready to Run diesel loco. Today we're going to be working on an SD40 um, SD40U. Uh, Athern designates as the standard SD40, but we're going to be installing a Digitrax DH123D decoder into it. Um, sorry if I sound under the weather. I am. So, um, those are the functions, 128 speed steps, momentum, a lot of different stuff to play with. These are like the cheapest decoders they sell. Um, I didn't need the 163, which comes with six functions, because I only plan to use just, uh, headlights, and I'm going to install non-functioning dish lights on this unit. And if I decide to install operating, I can just move up. That's the beauty about the 9-pin um, connector that Adam uses. So, let's get started. So first we need to remove the shell, and the easiest way to do that on Adam ready to run locomotives is by removing the two coupler pockets underneath with the two screws. Uh, so when handling the locomotive, I find it best to use the its own packaging it came in as kind of a cradle uh, when you're holding it upside down so you don't damage any of the detail pieces so uh, it's kind of hard to do with one hand but we're going to position this where it would normally be I'm going to put the camera down actually so I can um, do this safely but okay so put this down flip it over and Set it down into the cradle. So now we have uh, a good working platform and the locomotive is supported in the right way so nothing is being damaged. So first we're going to start by removing the front uh, coupler screw and the rear coupler screw. Okay so after uh, removal of both screws the pocket with the coupler should just come right out. And you can leave that to the side for later. Okay, so now with both coupler pockets removed, you can flip the locomotive back onto its um, wheels. And the shell should come off with a little bit of a wiggle. Be careful not to yank it because the, uh, the lights are still intact in the top of the shell. So you don't want to rip those out. So you can just lay that off to the side. Be careful not to, just be gentle with it, you know, don't slam it or whatever. And now you see the board. What we have here is a DC jumper plug uh, connected to the 9-pin harness that is soldered directly into the board. And then an 8-pin adapter right here for 8-pin decoder. So it's your choice whether you want an 8 or a 9-pin decoder. Uh, the 9-pin is the easiest, because with 8-pin, you will need to solder it directly into the board. So, in any case, sorry about that, you will need to remove this uh, dummy plug from the locomotive, which will take some doing, so I'm going to set this camera down. Um, it might feel like it won't want to come out. Believe me, I've done a few of these. Uh, they can be really annoying. But it will always come out eventually with enough persistence. So, you want to start kind of wiggling this out. I really hate taking these out. It's the worst pain. You don't want to rip the wires right off the board, but you can kind of unbend them if you want a little bit. And I'm going to actually try to... Use the help of a screwdriver. Kind of push this out. So I will come back when this is out. Uh, here's another example of an older Athern unit. Uh, showing you the quick plug is still here. This time it does not have... Or it does have, it just has a, uh, the older style of 8-pin uh, holes to receive the plug. So we're going to remove the plug and... Um, install the DCC decoder. Hey guys, I'm back. The jumper plug is off. I'm telling you, it's so annoying. 
they uh, seem to try to make it the hardest to get this little stupid thing unplugged, but once you do, it's good. Just be careful to just be careful to have patience and uh, don't rip any of the wires connected to the board there. I know it probably would be very easy too if you weren't careful. So now we open up the decoder and we're going to take out the DH123D from the packaging. Like I said, you can use any 9-pin decoder that will work. I happen to run uh, Digitrax DCC, so I just go with Digitrax stuff. And quite simply now, what we're going to do, I'm going to try to prop my phone up if I can. So I can give you guys the best view of this. Um, we're going to simply plug in the decoder into the plug that we just opened up. Okay, so now simply we just take our Digitrax decoder with the 9 pin plug and connect it right into the open plug here. Be sure to have it the right orientation. And then once again, getting this in, it's going to be very stiff. Uh, I don't know, these plugs are so. I don't know. They're very uh, close standards, I guess, when they make them or mold them. They don't easily want to go in. And I'll be back when I plug this in completely. Okay, so I just finished pushing it in about as far as I can get it to go. As you guys can see, it might be a little bit sticking out in the end, but, I mean, uh, the tolerances are so close that, I mean, uh, as long as you get contact and it's a really secure fit, you shouldn't have any issues. Um, so, with that in, now you can just reverse all the steps I just told you, so... Uh, smush the shell, uh, actually before I, I would, like, fasten the shell, I would do a little test run to make sure everything is functioning the way it should, so, place your locomotive on your test track, that's good, I have my easy command right now just to test, um, so, it should be, uh, address number three, as all new decoders, so, Forward, backward, and then should have headlight and tail light. So everything looks good. So we should uh, finish uh, reattaching the shell, and this install should be done.